I literally just start dancing sometimes in like the intro of my video and I'm like, I'm not gonna put that in. Like, I don't, I don't even know why I do it, but hey y'all. Okay, so I have to be honest with you guys. I totally broke and I started opening some of the stuff from my PO box before I started filming. This is not like a PO box opening video by any means. This is actually a Tinder video, so welcome back. I mean, I've probably said it about 5 million times, but I've been having a pretty rough month and so part of me just kind of broke and was like, okay, I need something to make me smile. I need something that's gonna make me happy. So I started opening the stuff. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I broke, okay? But I literally opened like everything so far. I'm also really bad with that kind of stuff, like with gifts and presents. Like I'm horrible at one, keeping secrets. Like if I buy somebody else a present, I'm going to tell them what I got them because I just suck. And I'm bad at being patient and waiting because I see them in front of me and I'm like, oh my God, I have to open it. I have to know what's inside. I also had some of you guys tweeting at me and you were like worried that I wouldn't get the stuff. And so I just feel obligated to now talk about the stuff. So thank you to Jason. He actually gave me two scary books, like scary story books. I also got this necklace. It's like a little Texas necklace from Amanda who actually also sent me a scary story. I'm going to read her scary story and my next like fan paranormal stories but I have it right here on paper and then Ellie who gave me like these beautiful rings and she drew pictures of me which these are amazing to me like you guys surprise me like every single day with just how talented you guys are I opened these and I like teared up I just I was in shock when I opened these because I was like I, I don't understand how you guys do this I and then she wrote me the sweetest little letter and I love you guys so much thank you to everybody who sent me stuff so far I had a couple other people send me things just like random little books um, I had somebody send me like a couple couple little like comic books about scary stories like just so many cool things thank you guys so much I have literally been accumulating 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 I have been saving up on my tinder messages for a long time I have way too many this video is going to be so long and so terrible to edit but that's okay if you guys didn't watch my video from I believe three weeks ago at this point it was me transforming myself into members of the office if you guys also don't watch the office go watch it but it was basically me transforming myself into Jim Dwight and Pam and I took pictures and I used that as my tinder profile that was like my entire reasoning behind even filming that video if you guys have never watched one of my tinder videos before though I'm gonna show you guys my profile and I'm gonna go through my pictures my tinder always has a theme to it so it'll be like a bunch of pictures in a bio relating back to one theme so this week's month's year's theme because I never fucking upload these videos this theme was the office that that was literally it so I'm gonna scoot over and I'm gonna put my profile right here so you guys can see it in all of its glory I have canes left over in the fridge and I kind of want to eat it we're gonna wait oh god what happened to my tinder oh god it's not showing up as anything it's gone okay I don't know what's happening Hello? Oh, there we go. Okay, so this is my profile right now. Again, the entire theme is just the office. This is me dressed up as Dwight, and I feel like there's absolutely nothing else to say about this photo. My bio says, I'm hot, you're hot, let's get a pop in. And if you can tell me who says that, I will love you forever. And then under that, it says, trying to find the gym to my Pam. The J to my PB, except that doesn't sound nearly as good as PB and J, but whatever. My second photo is me dressed up as Jim. I'm pretty sure I posted pictures similar to this on Twitter because I, I was just so excited. I wanted to post them everywhere. I also showed you guys a couple samples in my last video of the pictures. So this is the one I ended up choosing for Jim. It's literally just me at my desk like, because what better way to describe Jim? Number three is Pam, again. <laughs> I mean, literally, there's nothing else to say about it. This is just literally me dressed up as Pam. But I'd say I did a pretty good job. And then last but not least, I, I know I should not have done this. I shouldn't have put in a normal selfie, but I did. I wanted this picture because I'm wearing my Dunder Mifflin shirt and I just didn't have time to take another picture in my Dunder Mifflin shirt because I just, I'm lazy, I don't know. And so I just put this picture, I'm sorry. I know it kind of ruins the whole thing but that's okay. And I actually only have four pictures this time. I normally always take up all six, but I really wasn't sure what to do for the other two. Originally, I was going to do like all the pictures of me dressed up as them side by side with like, so it'd be like one would be this one, like as Dwight, and two would be the photo that I used like to inspire my Dwight outfit. But I was like, okay, but that kind of gives it away like what I'm doing. I want people to understand, like, I don't, I don't know. So I decided to just do the four pictures this time. Let's get into the messages, shall we? Okay, I was just scrolling through. I have so many, you guys, so many. I love your pics. Your gym is on point. Damn girl, that suit is cute as fuck. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. I can be your gym, but my name is Michael. I'm crying. Good afternoon. How are you today? The office is a great show. I'm watching it for the first time. Haha, <laughs> I know. Lame. You're a little too fancy for a homely banana like me. I, I literally matched with a banana. I'm pretty sure this was like a really long time ago. Probably one of the first Tinder videos I ever made. But I swiped right to a hash brown. Um, is a long story. It wasn't even a long story. I just, I thought it was funny. He had a hash brown as his picture. So I swipe right. Right is yes, right? Right? Yeah, but I'm not even kidding you guys. I loved, I loved talking to that potato more than I've ever loved talking to anybody else on Tinder. And I like, I didn't even know who he was. Like I was literally like in love with a hash brown, whatever. I gave him my number too, which is like really saying something because I never give my number out on Tinder. And I gave my number to a potato. You're hotter than Stanley's daughter. Pretty sure she's supposed to be like 14 in the show. Travis, your pictures are hilarious. I'm dead. 
send an ambulance. Would you rather be feared or loved? Both. I want people to be afraid of how much they love me. Whoa, are you a shiny Charizard? Because I want to keep you forever and next let you go. Never. Wow, that's autocorrect for ruining my life. Ruined it twice. I wish you had a pic where you were dressed like Kevin spilling the pot of chili. Your photo album is incomplete in my opinion. Somebody actually has a Tinder profile, like literally dedicated to that scene. Okay, I don't know if all of you guys watch The Office or not. I'm sorry if you don't. You're gonna understand like nothing in this video. Maybe I'll do this again and I'll do the other characters, like the not so popular characters. Let me know if you wanna see it. Not many people can pull off the Dwight Schrute look that well, but I would like to pull it off of you. <laughs> I never even read that one before. Like I just screenshot them half the time without even really like looking at them, but that, Jesus, but I would like to pull it off of you. Also, tidbit about myself. I cry every time I watch the episode where Michael, I can spoilers, spoilers. Okay, I'm not gonna read the spoilers. And the Dundee Award for best office costume design on Tinder goes to Courtney. Thank you. You make the prettiest white. That's a tough one to beat. So where does a woman as charming as yourself find herself employed on a day such as today? Dunder Mifflin. Wasn't that obvious? I see you're a gamer as well. Literally so many people pointed out my fucking keyboard. I don't even understand. You're hot, let me dick you down. So I guess it's safe to say you enjoy The Office. I would die for The Office. Wait, don't do that, cause then you can't watch it with me. God damn, your outfits are amazing. I think I love to. Identity theft is not a joke. And I actually just finished watching it again last night. Hey girl, are you a Pikachu? Because I'm trying to catch something. Wait, can I start over? I'd like to turn in an application to be your gym. Oh, I love girls with wide shoulders. I wanna be wined, dined, and 69. That's the best office pickup line I have to offer. You real? I'm hot, you're hot, so let's get it poppin'. You literally, you just, you stole my bio. You bio. <laughs> hey, Courtney! I don't entirely understand the first two photos, but you're pretty. How do you not understand the first two, but then you understand the third? One, your pictures, they're amazing. Two, if you're looking for Jim, wouldn't that mean you'd have to be engaged for five years before we can go out? I ain't looking for a Roy. Tonight would be a convenient night for us to have some intercourse. Let's get poppin', Pam. I like your Jim so much that I'm willing and ready to be your Pam. Actually, if I could be the Jim in this situation, I, I'd probably be a lot happier. Confession, ha, huh. never watched an episode of The Office. See ya, Josh. You make Dwight look hot. Your business attire is pretty epic. At first, I expected you to be a bot because of how cute you look, but I really doubt a bot account would dress up as Jim, Dwight, and Pam, unless that's what you want me to think. Really into the office, huh? What's up? You down to get a pop in this weekend? By the way, did you take those pictures specifically for Tinder? Yes. Y yes, I did. Bay. I've never been more honored to match with someone. Your pictures are legendary. You deserve an Oscar or an Academy Award or a Dundee or something. Totally agree. Let's get it poppin'. Big office fan, eh? Fun fact, I actually used to live in Scranton. No joke. I have nothing but the most respect for you for dressing up as Dwight, Jim, and Pam. I've gotta say, your Jim face is top notch. You really nailed his perplex nonchalance, or whatever that face that he always makes to the camera means. What do you think about them rebooting the show? If you guys need a Pam, hit me up. I'm blown away. All of your pics are office related. Can't tell if you're a fan of The Office or not. You nailed the Dwight pic. Hey, what's up, hun? Like the tie. Somebody literally messaged me. Only one night left here, babe. Like, what the, are you, like, really? What a legendary profile. I love the smell of bacon on a woman. The suit and glasses I dig. My question is, why? You look like you have a sense of humor. Welcome to the Tinder match options menu. For hey, press one. For a cheesy pickup line, press two. For a haiku, press three. For a freestyle rap battle, press four. For an interpretive dance, press five. To hear more options, press seven. Para espanol, a prima eight. Please select an option from the menu. Thanks. Nothing about the office in there. Identity theft isn't a joke, Courtney. Millions are affected by each year. So many people use the identity theft joke. So many people. If you don't show up in a suit on our first date, then I don't want to talk. What are they putting in these Starbucks drinks? The dedication to Dunder Mifflin is real with you. I have a hunch you like the office. Snacks. Fuck off, Dev. Your pictures have me so dead. The Office is my favorite show of all time. That's an attractive Dwight though, can't even lie. You even look hot in a Dwight suit. You have to be one of the most beautiful women I've ever seen on here. Big in the suit, lol. Like, if people don't even ask. Okay, I understand, I completely understand that people don't know The Office because I mean, not everybody in the world's gonna watch it. But when people barely acknowledge it, like he acknowledged my suit, but he's not like, why? Why? I don't have a pan to my gym, but just as important, I don't have a Dwight to my gym either. You look very dashing in that tie. Nice tie. Really brings out your eyes. I appreciate your enthusiasm for The Office. So iTunes got it all wrong. You're definitely the hottest single out right now. I think that's probably one of the best pickup lines I've ever heard, but that's not you in the photos. You're right. I haven't really watched it, but I'm guessing that it's The Office. As Michael Scott says, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take, so you should take a shot on me. You by far have the best profile I have ever seen. This is the greatest thing I've ever seen. Love a woman in a suit. Okay, okay, okay. So you kind of win life, and I think you're just as talented as the writers for your Tinder layout. Thank you, Darian. I like the suit. Your bio couldn't say any better. I also highly respect the commitment to dedicating your entire profile to The Office. Fact. 
I'm excited that we matched. Question, what kind of bear is best? Also, why are you 868 miles away from me? Probably matched in Arizona. Sorry, Dustin. Is that your keyboard? You notice my keyboard over everything else? What do you call a one-eyed horse? I don't know, I just call it a horse. Cece's crying. Can you get her? Any chance you like the show The Office? Guess it's time to commit some crime because I'd love a court date. I think I've gotten that one before. Pretty clever. I'll put your stapler in jello. I can make a TGI Friday skill romantic and I can be the gym to your Pam. I just wanted to say that Parks and Rec is better than The Office. April and Andy over Jim and Pam. Blocked. Do you also have a Michael Scott, Stunder Mifflin, Grant and Meredith Palmer, Memorial Celebrity Rabies Awareness Pro-Am Run for the Cure? Fuck, I can't say that. I almost got through it, but I sat here for about 10 minutes trying to read that one message, so I'm done. No damn way. This is insane. Holy shit. Marry me now. My personality is Kevin with Dwight sprinkled on top. I was looking for a gym. Autocorrect. Met gym. Mobby. Best profile pic, hands down on Tinder. You planning to wear that outfit for Easter tomorrow? Your profile pictures remind me of the dogs with jobs pictures on the internet. Are you real? Hey, my name's Blake, but I go by Jim. You're cute. I'm hot. I was just looking for the beats to my Dwight. How you doing, Courtney? I think I finally found somebody who's more obsessed with the office than me. You're probably very right. I definitely win. I believe I may have stumbled across the world's greatest Tinder, and it's yours. Where can I see your one-man show of The Office? Too much of The Office. You're hired. Hey there, thanks for the swipe right. No problem. Give me attention, please. I've got good news for you. I don't, I don't think I ever found out what the good news was. I will be the hymn to your Pam, Jim. Oh my. You are the most extra girl I know. I really can't even argue. You don't know it yet, but you've stolen my heart. Your office pictures make me so happy. I'll be your gym any day, Beasley. You look surprisingly good in suits. Let me be the J to your PB, and we can get things poppin'. But really though, Pam and Jim in the streets, Bob and Phyllis in the sheets. Identity theft isn't a joke, that's enough. This may be a deal breaker, but I think I'm the only person in America who hasn't seen The Office. I should probably get on that. What's your favorite Jim and Pan moment? I need help with this prank on a coworker. I'm gonna be putting his office supplies into Jello and also gift wrapping his desk and everything on it. You down? I could be your Jim, but I'd rather be your Bob Vance. Vance refrigeration. And that's five dots. Just curious, what if it ends up like Aaron and Pete instead? Honestly, if I couldn't have a Jim and Pam, I would definitely want an Aaron and Pete. And then maybe a Dwight and Angela. And then I don't fucking know. I'll be the gym to your palm, if you can be the Andy to my tuna, or the beet farm to my Dwight. Palm. I'm hot, you're hot. Let's burn up the spot. Hey Courtney, I think we should go out. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Wayne Gretzky, Michael Scott. I can be the assistant to your regional manager. Numero uno, are you a bot? Do I look like? Well, that was an incomplete sentence. And you might be the first person I could say might like the office more than me. What kind of Tinder bot? What kind of Tinder bot? What kind of Tinder bot? He also didn't understand my Vine reference which was a deal breaker. Do I look like? I like to think of myself as having a bit of both Jim and Michael's personalities. I'm usually pretty chill, but I can be hella awk sometimes without even realizing it until way later when it's too late. Haha, uh -huh. corporate world bringing you down? What's with all the suits? I love your perspective, Courtney. I, I wish I knew what that meant. What's up with the shirt? Which one? What's up with all the office pics? If you'll be my PB, I'll be your J. So are you superwoman? Where did you get your style? Listen, Corey. Hey, can I be the gym to your Pam? Holy shit, you got all the characters on point. But I'm super curious as to who the last one's supposed to be. It's just me, honey. Haha, <laughs> why did you wear suits? I've never seen a girl pull off a Dwight Schrute look as perfect as you have. LOL, your gym's confused face. Very nice, Courtney. I just want to say I enjoy your Tinder picture theme. Made me laugh, and I thank you for that. I needed it. You're welcome. I got you, buddy. That's what, that's what I'm here for. Wow, I don't think I've ever matched with such a respectable person like yourself. You have a gorgeous smile, and we should definitely get this poppin'. Will you be the Dwight to my Angela? Wait, I have to be the Dwight? Ha, huh? Jim and Pam, how cute. Unfortunately, in the real world, the shipping does not work out so cheerfully. The reality is, with Pam originally engaged to someone else, it doesn't matter how innocent your intentions are when you first start talking to her. Because as you get closer and become friendlier, the office starts talking too. It starts becoming all judgy because apparently two adults of the opposite sex can't have a genuine friendship in the workplace. And then, she eventually gets married away. And I'm okay with that. I really am. What a lucky man he is. But by now, we're like best friends. And I think about her more often than I should. But she's happy, and I'm not gonna wish anything bad upon her relationship, so I just have to be content with the way things are. That's just how the real world works, you know? Please talk to me. I didn't reply to somebody, so they go, You're being impish, Courtney. Don't make me break out the Belschnickel costume. Like the suit, homie. I've seen The Office at least six times through, if that's important. Someone literally just sent me this, and I just, I don't get it. Do you like The Office by chance? I like your keyboard. And I actually think that might be the end. I had so many. I've been filming for 40 minutes. I have never filmed a Tinder video for longer than like maybe 20. Oh my god, all of my matches are gone. Oh my Rest in peace, but the last message I have says you're an office fan. Yes, I am. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is definitely gonna be one of my longer Tinder videos, but I think it's worth it because I pretty much fell in love with half of the people I matched with. Let me know what you guys wanna see for the next Tinder theme. I think I wanna do something similar to this where I have to kind of dress up as other people versus just taking random pictures. I had so much fun filming the video of transforming myself, so if you guys have any ideas for that, let me know because I would be so down to do it. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Damn girl, that cutest suit is 
cutest suit as fuck. Okay, but like, can we just like appreciate how cute this little necklace is right now? I know my C is probably backwards. Whenever I put the C on, I always think I'm doing it right, but I'm always wrong. So apparently I just, I, it's gonna be backwards. But look how cute my little text is. I love it, thank you. <laughs>